Welcome to this month's Knit Club. We're doing the honeycomb cable stitch. You will need something like a cable needle or a stitch marker or you could use a safety pin or you could do it without. It's just a little trickier and I'll show all of those ways of doing it. So we're going to pick up where we left off after our bobbles here and we're going to start changing our color. This is going to be an eight row repeat and we still have our garter border that we're doing. And we'll start this off with a knit. All. So we're going to knit all the way across. I'm just going to tie that off. And you want to make sure this is on our right side. So the side that has our bobbles is our right side. So I'm knitting here. side for row two we're gonna do a purl across and we're going to knit our first three and knit our last three just keeping that garter border we've had throughout our scarf so there's our three and then switching to purl switch back for our last three to do knit. So now that we're on row three, we're going to start with our cable. I'm going to knit three. One, two, and three and then we're gonna do a cable four back so that means I'm gonna take the first two so when it says four there's gonna be four in total involved in a cable and I'm putting them to the back. So you can do that with your needle like that. And then I'm gonna knit these other two. And then I could use the needle and knit them on there, but I find it easier to just pop it back onto the needle you were working with and knit them there. So that is a cable for back. Then we're going to do a cable for front, which is the same idea. I'm going to pick up these two, but because it's front, it's just going to go to the front. Knit two of them, put these two back on our needle. and then knit those. 
So then we just repeat going back and forth between cabling front and cabling back until we get to our last three and we just knit those ones. So now I'm on a cable back four. So now I'm gonna show the cable back four with a stitch marker. So I'll just take these two with the stitch marker, close it up so they don't go anywhere, put it to the back, and knit the next two. Bring the stitch marker back, and then put those stitches back on your needle. And then knit them. Now we're back to the front. Knit the next two. Throw these back on our needle. And then knit them. Now the other way of doing it and it's very tricky, is to just drop them off. Make sure not to lose those loops. They need to go to the back. Knit two very carefully. And then find those loops again. Hoping you didn't drop any of them. So this is not the suggested method, and it's very hard to do. So there we go, and we have one more to the front, so drop those two to the front, and see that one's trying to escape, so you definitely don't want to do this method. these back. And then we're going to knit our last three. If you don't have a safety pin or a cable needle, you could use pretty much anything. You could use a pencil, a chopstick, something like that. Something round enough to fit your stitch on there while you're working. Now we're at row four. So I'm going to knit my first three and then purl all of them to the last three.
Row five is just to knit all of them. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did for row four, for row six, knit three, purl, knit three. So row seven, we're going to start with our first three knits. And then last time when we did the cables, we started with a cable four to the back. We're going to cable four to the front this time. And remember, that just means that when you take these two off, you drop them in the front and then you knit two and then you can knit those other two. And here I'll show knitting it off of a cable needle. Now it's going to be a cable to the back. And we just keep repeating front to back until we get to our last three, which we will knit once again. to get that honeycomb pattern because of the varying of the front and back makes these cables that go back and forth. And then row eight is just going to be another row of knit three, purl across, and knit three for your last three. And then you just start the whole process again, repeating until you reach the length that you'd like. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact with information in the description. Good luck! Yeah.